Hello YouTube and I've not been on for a while but I am back and I have also got a request for a video with a door and a button so I'll continue with the tutorial tutorial we left on the last time and that'll be these two doors which work. Now to start off we'll open up our properties on our doors so just double click them and go to flags and use open uncheck apply and the same for the other as well flags use opens apply now just make a small block next to your door that you want to push a button and I'll make it 8 units by 4 and it's a bit of a tall button but we size that in this view to 12 and hit enter. Now I'll move the button down a wee bit so that you can actually push the button. Give it a little texture, browse, filter and button. That one will do nicely. And apply the texture. Let's go to your texture. That'll be the texture we just last browsed, which is that one, and apply. And fit. Now I've got another wee texture here. This metal texture. And I'm gonna apply it to the sides. There we go. Now we've got a button. Now select that brush and hold in control press T and in the class panel select function button and click apply. Now what we want to do now is select our door and in the name value it's a function door already if you followed the last tutorial and give it the name door A and hit apply. Now in the button go to outputs and click add. My output put named will be on pressed because when we press the button we want it to activate the door and the target will be door A so when we press that it targets door A and we want the input to be open. And you can set a delay for like you press the door and it look, the door will actually open two seconds later or whatever, but that'll do me apply. Now if you go into your door properties, it'll go in these settings. So if you've got the speed set to hundred, it'll open it up. it'll still open at that speed, so you set your door properties whatever you want, and then that should be pretty much it. So, I will pause this, in fact no, no, I'll make another door, a yeah, button, sorry, select the button, shift, drag, put it on the other side of the wall, so we've got two buttons here, so I know that's not the texture of it, now right, we'll mop that anyway, and change this one, delete that output for that door, eh, that's button, and give this door a name, give it a name door B, hit apply, that'll do fine, open up our button properties, output, same again, add, my output name will be on pressed again, and it'll be door B this time, Input on pressed again. Oh no, sorry. Open and apply. And that's it. I will mention open up your door, obviously, and the flags. We've already done that, so use open. So make sure none of them are ticked. And that is pretty much it. I'll rotate this button around slightly. 
there we go and that's pretty much it so I'll pause this and start up the game and you'll see the doors working okay then so I'm gonna start the game up here and it was saved as door so there you go I'm saving it well sent up as door loading the game Doo -doo -doo. and here we have it so here's me running over to plant the bomb and the counter terrorist won't be able to open the door we have nine gun counter terrorists and at this point so I'll walk through what's gonna happen anyway when I do add the counter terrorists basically they've no got navigational mesh to tell them that there is a button there to open that door so they'll pretty much just walk into the door but you'll see it yourself by now Okay, so I'm going to add a counter terrorist or two. So I'm going to plant the bomb and the counter terrorist won't be able to open this door. As you can see, look, you can see them try to poke their heads through, but because there's no navigation mesh set up for them, they don't know that there's a button there that activates that door. And here's where I get killed. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll show you from the counter terrorist perspective that the door works. So there's now a counter terrorist, we'll try the other door. And there we have it. So thanks for watching and hope it helps.